Alaskan Malamutes are a striking and beautiful breed, but have you ever wondered what are their temperaments? Well stick around because in today's video we're going to find out more about this wonderful breed. Welcome back to the Fenrir Malamute Show. My name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Alaskan Malamutes, then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Malamute. So if you're a lifelong Malamute lover, thinking about getting one, or just started your journey with your new Malamute, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Malamute video. So let's dive into today's video. Male Malamutes can reach 25 inches and higher and can weigh a staggering 100 pounds. Females are usually smaller and lighter. Malamutes have a double thick coat that sheds a lot all year round, but especially in spring and autumn. They have long hair, so require a little more grooming maintenance. Their coats come in a variety of different colours, including grey, white, solid white and seal and white. But enough about aesthetics, let's now move on to the Malamute's temperament. As working dogs, Malamutes are highly energetic and require hours of exercise every day. Without plenty of exercise as well as mental stimulation, they'll quickly become bored and resort to destructive behaviours. Although they're highly intelligent, they can also be stubborn, often making them tricky to train. This breed is not recommended for novice handlers or those unfamiliar with the breed. It's very important that they're trained consistently and socialised with a steady, experienced hand from a young age, or they'll find it difficult to adapt. This working history also does mean that Malamutes have a very high prey drive. They can be compelled to stalk and kill smaller animals such as birds, squirrels and even cats. For this reason, it's essential that you're confident your Malamute has a perfect recall before you even think about letting them off the lead. It's not impossible for a Malamute to live under the same roof as other smaller pets, but this would, again, require consistent and dedicated socialisation from an experienced canine leader. Even then, your Malamute should never be left alone, unsupervised with small animals. Hey guys, a really quick message, and I just wanted to let you know, because we get a lot of questions about you wanting to see more videos of me and the team training dogs, real life sessions, our consultation work, puppy training through to behaviour modification, and we have a whole dedicated channel for that called Fenrir Canine Training. There'll be a link in the description box below, and if you want to come and follow our journey of working hands-on with dogs and watching live sessions, of how we go from teaching basic stuff with puppies all the way through to extreme behavior modification that's over on the Fenrir canine training channel I'm sure you'll love it and I can't wait to see you over there as well Malamutes are very friendly towards people and very welcoming and receptive to strangers often greeting everyone they meet as a friend for this reason they don't make good watchdogs as they also rarely bark However, they're known to express themselves vocally in other ways such as with long howls or woo-woo sounds they have a consistent need to spend time around people and will want to be with their family regularly. They'll not tolerate being left alone for extended periods of time, so if you're out most of the day and there won't be anyone around for your Malamute, then this is likely not a suitable breed for you. They're suited to a busy and dynamic household that will provide them with plenty of opportunities to build strong, affectionate bonds with people who are ready to give them the attention they crave. Malamutes are also good with children as they're affectionate and will really enjoy the extra playtime. However, because of their large size and boundless energy, caution should always be exercised as they can easily knock over small children. Play between your Malamute and children should absolutely always be supervised and it's vital that you teach any children how to appropriately behave around dogs. The Malamute can make a wonderful, intelligent and lively companion, however to achieve this they require experienced leadership, consistent training and plenty of socialisation right from the moment you bring them into your home. Finding the best breed for you, your family and your lifestyle is really important and I definitely suggest doing plenty of research before bringing a canine companion into your home. Knowing more about your chosen breed would definitely help you in caring for them and giving them a happy and healthy life. Well I hope you've enjoyed today's video if so make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below and don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Malamute videos coming here every single week so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Malamute Show.